In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a distortion zoom transition in Adobe After Effects without using any plugins. Let's jump to the tutorial. As you guys can see, I've got two simple videos on the timeline. So let's go ahead and make the transition. The first thing you want to do is go to a layer, new adjustment layer. Then go to the effects and presets window, search for transform and add it to the adjustment layer. Then move the playhead to the point of the cut between the videos. Then move 15 frames to the left. Just like this, then go to the effect controls and create a keyframe for scale at 100. Then uh, go back to the point of the cut and set scale to be 300. Then press U on the keyboard to see the keyframes on the timeline and bring the adjustment layers end and start points aligning them with our keyframes. So pretty much trim the adjustment layer down to 15 frames in length. After you do that, go back to the effect controls and check use composition shutter angle and set shutter angle to 360 to get nice motion play as you can see. After that you make sure you select the adjustment layer, go to edit, duplicate or press ctrl D as a shortcut, then move the duplicated adjustment layer forward in time and let's extend it by 5 frames so go to the end of it and then move forward uh, by 5 frames and extend the adjustment layer so the second adjustment layer should be 20 frames in length, the first one is 15 just keep that in mind, press U to see the keyframes and move the end keyframe to the end of the adjustment layer then let's go to the second adjustment layer's first keyframe and set scale to be 25. Then go to the second adjustment layer's end keyframe and set scale back to 100. Now let's go back to the first keyframe to make some adjustments. As you can see, we've got all this blank space that we don't want to see. For that, we can use motion tile. Let's go to effects and presets, search for motion tile, add it to the second adjustment layer and make sure it is above the transform, otherwise it will not work. And here you just increase the output width and height until you fill up all the blank space. So 400 for both should be fine. And then make sure you check mirror edges. After you do that, you can drag and select uh, all the keyframes. Right click any of them. Go to keyframe assistant, easy ease, or just press F9 as a shortcut to easy ease the keyframes. Then go to the graph editor. And if your graph looks different, right click, make sure in add speed graph. Then select the first point and drag its handle all the way to the right. The second handle also all the way to the right. And select the second point again and this time drag the other handle all the way to the left and this one also all the way to the left so your graph should look like this so here we've made a pretty standard zoom in transition as you can see so now let's uh, proceed with the distortion so let's exit the graph editor and here we need to create another adjustment layer so go to layer new adjustment layer and let's make this uh, new adjustment layer the size of the other two so just drag the end at start points like this now we need to add optics compensation effect to this adjustment layer. So search for it in effects and presets, optics compensation, add it to the top adjustment layer. Now move the playhead at the beginning of the adjustment layer, go to the effect controls, so make sure that reverse lens distortion is checked, create a keyframe for field of view at zero, go to the point of the cut between the videos, set field of view to 160, then go to the end of the adjustment layer and set the field of view back to zero. Then press U on the keyboard to see the keyframes, select them all, you can uh, press F9 to easy ease them, then go to the graph editor. And here select the second point, just like I am, and drag the, the sandal to the left of the way. And your graph should look like this. After that, let's exit the graph editor and preview the transition. As you can see, it already looks kind of nice, but we're going to make it even better with some finalizing touches. So select the top adjustment layer and uh, go to edit and duplicate, or press Ctrl D as a shortcut. Remove the optics compensation effect from it, then go to the effects and presets, search for motion tile, add it to the top adjustment layer, then search for tint, also add it, and then search for emboss, also add it to the top adjustment layer. Now click on toggle switches and modes until you see the modes column, and set the top adjustment layer's mode to hard light, so we can see the changes while we apply them. Now move the playhead at the beginning of the adjustment layer, in effect controls for the motion tile, just check mirror edges. For the tint, matte black 2, choose the color red. For the matte white 2, choose the bright blue like this. Then for the emboss, set direction to be 180 degrees. And then for the relief, let's set it to 0 and create a keyframe on it at the beginning of the adjustment layer. Then move to the point of the cut, set relief to 10. You can see that adds a nice RGB splitting effect on top of the transition. Now let's go to the end of the adjustment layer and set relief back to zero. Then press U on the keyboard, drag and select all the keyframes, press F9 to ease them, go to the graph editor, 
and just create this graph to drag the handles all the way to the right to create a peak in the at the point of the transition and for the other handles drag them to the left and your graph should look like this in the end let's now exit the graph editor to preview the transition and our transition is ready i hope you learned something new and enjoyed this tutorial if you did do not forget to leave a like thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out